Now, Syria is one of the countries on the president's ban list, and one man helping treat people from the war zone is in the tri-state tonight. Nine on Your Side's reporter Ashley Zilka spoke with him and joins us live with his story. Ashley? Well, Craig, before moving to Israel, Amir Yarki served as a community emissary here in Cincinnati. He now helps a hospital that is treating patients from across enemy lines. These are the countless faces of Syrian war victims, people treated at the Galilee Medical Center in Israel. High velocity, sniper wounds, uh, terrible explosions, and you know, each one of these people that we see is, is a tragedy, is a story, is a family left behind. Even though Israel and Syria are enemy countries, Amir Yarki says that's forgotten when victims come into the hospital. I see them as patients, as, as people, as human beings, and this is the way our staff look at that. Yarki is the CEO of the Friends of the Galilee Medical Center, a nonprofit that supports the hospital. In a packed room Wednesday night, he came back to Cincinnati to explain why Syrians are willing to come to Israel for help. Someone told them that this is the only chance where he can actually make it and survive. For Steve Pentelnik, Yarki's efforts are eye opening. People are being hurt, and the whole world needs to rally around it. And if Israel can find a way, you know, to reach out to a nation that's at war with and really provide, you know, uh, urgent care to them, so can other nations around the world. Yarki calls it one of the most complicated humanitarian efforts in history. The victims of the Syrian war see it as their last hope. They know that they're lucky. They're, they're the one who actually made it. Now, in the past four years, Yarki says the medical center has helped 1,500 victims of the Syrian war. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side. All right, Ashley.